Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to be answering a commonly asked eBay question. And that question is, are you allowed to have multiple eBay accounts? The answer to that question is yes, under most circumstances. So one reason you're not allowed to have multi, uh, multiple eBay accounts is trying to circumvent, uh, cir I can't talk today, circumvent eBay limits. So what do they mean by this? Let's say you have a, a new eBay account, or maybe you're selling in a restricted category um, where you're only allowed to list, you know, 15 items per month or $3,000 worth of items per month, or maybe your entire account is only allowed to you know, list up to $20,000 uh, per month in merchandise. You're not allowed to set up another eBay account. Just Okay, so for eBay account one, you're allowed to list 20 grand. You're not allowed to set up another eBay account just so that you can list another 20 grand and another 20 grand and have three accounts and now be able to do 60 grand. That's not allowed. Um, however, if you have a high limit on your first eBay account, but you want to separate different brands or different products. Let's say maybe you sell a line of cookware stuff and you want to have an eBay channel called, uh, uh, I don't know, Davis's Cookware. And then you have, uh, you know, you also sell video games. So Davis's Video Games for the second eBay account. And, you know, maybe you sell uh, used sporting goods for uh, also. And the third one could be Davis's uh, used sporting goods. So basically, you are allowed to have multiple eBay accounts. Technically, you can sell different products across categories. Although my advice to you would be don't do that just for the sole reason that you're trying to build up an eBay account, right? Because the higher feedback you have, the, the higher you're going to rank, rank in eBay searches. Um, you know, you're going to try to become a power seller and a top rated seller and build that account. And there, there's a lot of benefits of building up an account from uh, better ranking in eBay search, um, more buyer confidence. Um, discounts for being a power seller and top rated seller. So when you start segmenting, you know, uh, this account's going to be small, this account's going to be small, this account's going to be small, whereas opposed to these three accounts together could be pretty good. Maybe you're a power seller, top rated seller, whatever else. Um, I'm not against segmenting your, your eBay stores and trying to brand differently because I do think there's something to be said for not just selling 10 different items. I, personally, as a buyer, I tend to get frustrated when I'm looking through some guy's store and I'm looking for his car accessories, but I have to sort through 10 pages of phone accessories to find the car accessories. So if you have a lot of products or if you, if you work in a couple different niches, it's not a terrible idea to kind of segment your stores into niches or, or categories. Um, but at the same time, realize that all three of these stores are going to be smaller than if you did it all through one store. So even if you're selling different brands, different niches, different categories, if uh, you don't have a million and one listings, I wouldn't be opposed to listing them in one category and under one kind of brand or store name. Uh, but yes, you are allowed to have multiple eBay stores. Just don't do it to circumvent eBay fees because they will catch on to that. They'll close out your account and it'll either be a suspension for a few months or possibly for life. You don't want that to happen. So that's the answer to your guys' questions. If you were wondering um, if you're allowed to have multiple eBay accounts, you are allowed to have multiple eBay accounts. Just don't do it to circumvent the fees. Do it because you want to uh, separate different products or different categories. So hope that answered that uh, commonly asked question I get asked on here a lot. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. should be just to the bottom left. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the button at the bottom left, and you can subscribe to my channel there so you get all the new updated videos and everything. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything else, leave them in the comments section below. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.